We wanted to give you props, man. That was amazing work you did last week. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I owe you one. Hey, I, I, I tried to get out there for uh, – which show was that? Was it New Year's this year? 2000 show. Uh, Our 2000 show in July. July. Yeah. 2000 show. Yeah, I couldn't make it for that one. So I owe you one in studio. So right. you hold me to that. We'll make that happen here shortly. <laughs> Well, look, we don't have much time. We do want to congratulate you. That was really, really fun to watch, and it was the best Phil Davis we've ever seen. One KO, one submission, uh, a title shot. I mean, that's amazing work by you. And, and uh, I mean, I, I, I guess talk about that. Talk about, you know, that night and what's next for you. How soon do you want to do it with Liam McGeary? Um, yeah, it was, a, it was an awesome night. Uh, being a part of Dynamite 1 was uh, it was just awesome. It was a great, great crowd. Uh, San Jose is a great fight town. whole event went up pretty awesome. Uh, two tough fighters, two good finishes. Um, I mean, I, honestly, I don't know what's next. Obviously, Liam McGeary is up. Um, I'm not exactly sure. They didn't give me really a timeline. But uh, uh, probably, and if I had to guess, it sounds like um, sometime in the new year. But, you know, I'm ready whenever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and at some point, you want to mix it up with King Mo, who was going to be your original opponent before Francis Carmo, and it's, it seemed like that that's what the fans uh, wanted deep down as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, whenever, you know, whenever. It, it, there's definitely going to be another uh, exciting fight, another good matchup. So, yeah, yeah, whenever, whenever he falls in, I'm ready. Phil, uh, looking back, your experience with Bellator compared to your experiences with the UFC. What was that? How, how did they compare? Yeah, you know, did, uh, you know, as far as, like, I guess your experience fighting for Bellator, you know, how you were treated and, and uh, you know, the, the upswing you see with Bellator. Well, well you know, uh, I, I think it's just – no matter who I fight for, I, I really do enjoy it. And um, there's not much difference between the two organizations. But uh, Scott Coker as a person, uh, I think, is uh, very inviting, and uh, he does a great job of taking care of fighters. Mm-hmm.